is, is, is this okay? He just, he just, he just left the hospital without being properly discharged. Is this okay? Hello, my name is Reen and today I'm watching episode 9 of The Sign. Um, <clears throat> last week's episode was very uh, interesting. We have so many questions answered from last week's episode. It was amazing. Um, first of all though, Tan and Paya um, kind of, you know, I think they're I think they decided they're boyfriends now and they were like oh you can't leave me and blah 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 and all that kind of stuff and <laughs> it was very cute to see them have breakfast together and just flirt with one another and be teased by their friends and just kind of have that brief moment of normalcy um but also tan told paya lung po told me to tell you not to go near any river because that's where the bad guy lives and conveniently like missed out the part where Long Pa said both of them should stay away from the river. Um and obviously because you know why not the person they're looking for, their missing person, um Cal, um like the the evidence led them to a river. So yeah, of course, they end up investigating their missing person next to um, an open body of water. And um, Khan is talking on the phone with Doctor. Um, here's the thing though, I don't understand Tan's logic of thinking because he, when he was talking to Long Pa, he said, ah, I, the voice I heard, I, I recognised the voice. And the monk really did say to him, Keep Tan, I mean, keep Paya and your doctor friend away from one another. And Tan didn't think, oh, but why does, why does Long Pa want me to keep them away from? Like, seriously. <sighs> He's so slow. But anyway, whatever. So he was talking on the phone with the doctor and got all distracted. He was like, oh, I can't hear you. Hold on. Kind of went a little bit away. And then, <coughs> excuse me. And then as he was talking to him, Paya turned around and couldn't see Tan anymore, but he was still there. Um, so he ran off thinking, you know, he's lost somewhere looking for Tan. And then when he gets to the river, um, like to a, a more secluded part of the river where the rest of the team couldn't see him, he thought he saw Tan in the water. So he... He walk in towards it and the second he touched the water he lost control of his um well his body i guess and was like sort of dragged into the water and as he was in this water he went back to the i want to call it like a dream realm let's just call it that because it, it, it he ended up there when he was dreaming that one time so when he was there this time he met Juan Surat's sister and homegirl told him everything everything from his his full name to, <laughs> to his, his full name to the moment he died like in his past life um so she she basically told him that he was um king uh Garuda and her sister um, once Surat was uh, Naga who fell in love with the king. Um, their love was obviously forbidden because I think he, the sister was supposed to be with Prince um, Charlatan and we um, Paya now knows that Doctor is Prince Charlatan. So, um, so he now knows that's the real, real baddie and He's the one who killed um, Wansara and um, the king. And he... Um, no, when, as she was dying, Wansara removed her soul to try and give it to the king. 
to save his life, but she was too weak. So her soul actually became the amulet that Paya now wears around his neck. So I'm guessing that's how Tan was able to tap into the power and defeat um, that guy who was possessed that one time. <clears throat> so because it's technically his uh, past life soul. So yeah, Paya now knows all of that. Only the trouble is Paya was underwater for so long. He basically drowned to death and uh, Tan pulled him out and you can't wake him up and that's how the episode ended and let me tell you something right now yesterday i watched two shows that made me cry and feel really sad and i already know this one's gonna make me feel sad because of how it ended last week yeah and i i, I know that they're gonna try and like do this whole i don't think they're gonna try and trick us into thinking payal's dead i don't think that's what it is i think probably um just from the preview alone, it kind of was making it look as if Paya died. Well, we know he ain't. We know he ain't. But I'm scared they're gonna try and do some amnesia um thing where he's he was underwater for so long, his brain is a bit wet, so he can't remember. You know, those memories got washed away or some bollocks. I don't know. So <laughs> I'm I'm worried they're gonna do that. Because if they do, then Paya and Tar are still going to be in the dark about the fact that Prince Dr. Naga Shalatorn is the bad guy. And I don't want them to be in the dark about that anymore. I want his true identity to be revealed to them. I want them to know he's the villain. I especially want Tarn to know he's the villain. Because <sighs> he's just taking too long to figure it out on his own. Somebody needs to tell him today. Oy, oy, oy. Anyway. Yes. So. I'm, I'm I'm excited for episode nine, but I'm also because yesterday was such a traumatic day. I have prepared myself for sadness, and I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be okay. Anyway, oh, just to let you know, my camera's acting a bit funny, so if the image jumps a bit or is a bit lagging or stops, I'm sorry, but um, I don't know how to fix it. I, I probably did already fix it and nothing will happen but if nothing happens then nothing happens and <sighs> let's get into episode nine she really didn't hold back y'all i love that i love you for that sis she spilled the whole tea It was so cool to kind of get to see their past lives, though. I mean, it's sad how it ended. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, and he saw the tattoo that's linked to his parents' case. Paya's got a lot going on today. I mean, Tan. Dr. Prince Chalatorn really does not care if he dies in killing Paya. If Paya's dead and he's dead, then nobody gets Tarn. Bro, wake up and remember. I feel so sorry for him. I feel so sorry for him because the moment he decides 
he's gonna love Paya and be boyfriends. Paya goes and drowns. I mean, I feel so sorry for Tana right now. And I feel like if, when, not if, but when Paya wakes up, Tan's gonna be like, see, this is why I don't want to be a boyfriend. He almost died, bro. And he's gonna break up with him. And we're gonna go back to them not being boyfriends again. That blissful moment we had at the beginning of the previous episode where you know they were kind of just teasing each other and just being all nice and you know and the friends were teasing them too it's like should we have enjoyed that moment a little bit more should we have lived in that happiness a little bit you know more because it obviously looks as though maybe tan's gonna break up with paya again sir please i'm begging you don't do that <laughs> เขาไม่เป็นไหนกูจะอยู่ข้างๆครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับคร
จะหาเรื่องทั้งพ่อทั้งลูกเลยเดี๋ยวบุญจะส่งลูกมึงไปหามึงแล้วครับให้ผมจัดการเลยไหมครับท่านยังตอนนี้มึงไปจัดการเรื่องไอ้ก้าวก่อนแล้วก็คอยจับตาดูนิ่งเอาไว้สืบดูว่ามันรู้เรื่องไอ้ก้าวทำอะไรหรือเปล่า Oh wait, she didn't know. I for sure, y'all. The split second before he said that last part, I was like, "Ooh, I know she had something to do with his death." <laughs> Apparently, maybe she doesn't. But like, what was he doing? And he obviously, like, when they were interrogating her a few episodes ago, Ning, and she was like, "I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe he used my name." She probably didn't know if 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 he cow. Was using her name and selling arts, um, artwork fraudulently. Oh, mm -mm. Kyle, what were you up to? It had. If I have a back. กูไม่รู้มันยังไม่ออกมาเลยแล้วมีใครโทรบอกญาติของน้องสาวมันยังโอ้เบนน่ะ just wait wait until he wakes up บอกแล้วน่าจะกำลังมา I would have waited until he woke up แล้วนี่มันเกิดอะไรขึ้นพยาจมน้ำได้ยังไงผมก็ไม่รู้เหมือนกันครับว่าพยาจมน้ำได้ยังไง This must seem so strange for everybody on the outside because it just to them it probably just looks like he just walked in a river on his own and drowned เพื่อนผมเป็นไงบ้างครับคุณหมอคนไข้อยู่ในภาวะสมองขาดออกซิเจนขณะจมน้ำตอนนี้หมอได้ย้ายคนไข้ไปห้อง ICU แล้วครับและได้ให้ออกซิเจนผ่านเครื่องช่วยหายใจรวมถึงให้ยาเพิ่มความดันโลหิตคืนนี้ย่านอาจจะต้องงดเยี่ยมก่อนนะครับเพื่อนผมจะปลอดภัยใช่ไหมครับหมอจะช่วยเหลืออย่างเต็มที่ครับของคนไข้ค่ะกรอยแบบ put that necklace back on his neck Doctor Prince Is gonna come for him. Oh, is he still stuck in the dream realm? Anyhow, it's the 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 Doctor Prince. I'm gonna be pissed. Go away, if it's you. Bro, I can't wait for you to find out that this man is not your friend. Okay. I'm getting for you to stop blaming yourself for things you 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 have zero control over, sir. 
He could have literally tripped and fell into that ocean or river, whatever you want to call it. You know, it, 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 didn't, it didn't have to do anything to be with you. I mean, we know it is. We know that this one tried to kill him because he doesn't want him to be with this one. But still, stop blaming yourself. S stop it. Just pretend it wasn't. <laughs> and why is up to the fact that it was the guy who you're hugging right now? It was him. He did it. Literally, with his... Whatever you want to call it. Untrue. I think he probably would have tried to kill him anyways. แต่พี่หมอเองก็รู้ว่าท่านรักใครเขาจะต้องจากไปเหมือนกับทุกคนที่ผ่านมาทานแต่กับพญาอาจจะไม่เป็นแบบนั้นก็ได้ I am I am giving encouraging words พญาเองเขาก็คงไม่อยากให้ท่านต้องเสียใจพี่ว่าท่านอย่าเพิ่งคิดมากเลยนะ why is he saying these nice words when it was him who literally tried to kill this man? And probably who was the one who killed his other boyfriend. <laughs> no! Amulet. Tom's real stupid. ท่านถ้ามึงเป็นห่วงไอ้พญามึงไปหามันก็ได้นะเว้ยเดี๋ยวพวกกูไปชุมแทนเองอืมอืมอืมไม่เป็นไรเอ่อไอ้พญามันออ
ยัง yeah. คุณมีหลักฐานหรือเปล่าที่บ่งบอกว่าเป็นมนตรีคนรอบตัวที่ตายก็เกี่ยวข้องกับมนตรีผมว่าเรารีบออกหมายเรียกมนตรีมาสอบปากผมเชื่อในหลักฐาน I only believe in evidence ถ้าคุณอยากให้ผมเชื่อในสิ่งที่คุณพูดไปหาหลักฐานมาแล้วผมขอเตือนคุณครั้งสุดท้ายนะทานถ้าคุณยังแยกเรื่องส่วนตัวกับเรื่องงานไม่ได้ผมจะไม่ให้คุณยุ่งเกี่ยวกับคดีนี้อีกโอ้โอไอ้ทานมึงใจเย็นๆเลยนะมึงอย่าไปหาเรื่องของเขาสารวัตรอักนะ Is his name Ak? Did we know his name was Ak this whole time? Inspector Ak, is that what he just said? Dude, the hot inspector's name is Ak. Okay, now we know. มึงก็อย่าเพิ่งคิดมากดิแต่กูคิดว่ามันคือคนคนเดียวกันแล้วกูจะไปหาหลักฐานมายืนยันให้ได้แล้วมึงจะไปไหนกูก็จะไปหาจากคนที่จะช่วยกูหาหลักฐานเรื่องพ่อกูไง Who please don't be the doctor please ไอ้ทานกูรวบรวมข้อมูลเกี่ยวกับคดีของมึงมาสิงแล้วหลักฐานทั้งหมดอยู่ในนี้ละรับเพื่อนร่วมงานของพ่อมึงด้วยแต่มึงห้ามบอกสลาวนะเว้ยแล้วกูหามาให้เออกูรู้แล้วกูจะไม่ทําให้มึงเดือดร้อนแน่นอนสารวัตรจะไม่มีทางรู้เรื่องนี้จะพ่อนมีอะไรวะคือกูไม่รู้ว่ากูจะบอกมึงดีไหมว่าเรื่องนี้มันน่าจะไปเชื่อมโยงกับเรื่องที่ใหญ่มากๆพี่ชายของสารวัตรคือลูกน้องคนสนิทของพ่อมึงไงไปไปไป What's your father's name? ที่ทำคดีมนตี I figured that ที่มึงพูดคือเรื่องจริงเหรอวะนี่แหละว่าพี่ชายสารวัตรสารวัตรรู้จักกับพ่อมึงแต่ทำไมไม่บอกมึงวะหมดอีดฆ่าตัวตายเขาถูกจับได้ว่ารับสินบนเว้ยวัดวัดสารวัตรรู้จักกับพ่อพ่อมึงแต่ทำไมไม่บอกมึงวะหมดอีดฆ่าตัวตายเขาถูกจับรับสินบนแล้วคนที่ทำพอดีทีนี้ก็คือพ่อมึงไงทานอ alright so I figured him I don't, I didn't know any of all that but I figured this one was connected to um Tan's dad in some way I thought maybe they'd work together, but okay. So his brother killed himself because of something, and Tan's dad worked on that case. Does he think Tan's dad was a bad cop or something, or what? I'm guessing his brother didn't kill himself either, and maybe Mr. Monty had something to do with that as well. I really don't want this man to be a bad guy because I fancy him so much. You two will not change your mind about me, really. Thank you, Mr. Ah. But I don't want to lose Mr. Ah. 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 
ลูกปูนอะไรทั้งอิดลากก็เหมือนลูกชายฉันเหมือนครอบครัวของฉันเองแล้วที่สําคัญอิดเขาก็ฝากฝังเอาไว้ให้ฉันดูแลเราด้วยแค่ที่คุณอาทําเป็นมิกับผมมันก็มากพอแล้วครับแล้วเรื่องเรียนต่อไม่ต้องห่วงนะฉันจะส่งเสียเธอเองฉันบอกแล้วว่าฉันมองเธอเป็นลูกชายฉันคนโอเคโอเค Oh he was even probably gonna live with them I don't think he's a bad guy I think the reason why he's telling Tan to do things the proper way is because he really wants to get who did it You know, find the proper evidence and do it properly. Mystery man, who is this? Who is this? I don't know why. For some strange reason, the only person who just popped into my head right then is the one guy from episode one who I don't want to ever come back. But I don't think he's a good guy for him to like come back. What was his name again? Chart, chat, something. That one dude. I don't think it's him though. But also, who who is this? Who is this? Is it someone we've seen before? Now, Miss Dow, I still don't trust Dow, you guys. Come on, ka. Pee Chai Nu, been how is it? Ka. Now, Miss Thai, the condition is still in the same place. Look at the photo. Well, I, I, these two together, cute, cute. But I still don't trust her. Hmm. 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 ที่กลัวคุณย่าเป็นห่วงแล้วคนนี้ไว้เห็นพี่ว่าย่าเป็นแบบนี้นี่ก็คงว่านี่จะเข้มแข็งไม่ไหวอะงั้นเอาแบบนี้ดีไหมตอนนี้อยู่กับคุณย่านี่ก็เข้มแข็งเอาไว้แต่ตอนนี้อยู่กับพี่อะนี่อยากจะร้องไห้นี่อยากจะอ่อนแอนี่ก็ร้องได้เลยนะเดี๋ยวพี่จะเป็นที่พึ่งให้นี่เองโอ้ God! Everybody's just gonna use this excuse now to bloody tell Paya to quit his job and Paya, you shouldn't be here. When he wakes up, Paya, I'm gonna break up with you because if we stay together, you're gonna die. All that, all that. He got hold, lah. He do let Paya not good. มันเลยต้องเป็นแบบเนี้ยอย่างพวกพี่บอกว่าจะดูแลพี่พยาให้ดีไงไม่ต้องปล่อยให้เป็นแบบเนี้ย excuse me ดูแลพี่พยาให้ดีไงทำไมปล่อยให้ why did you let this happen girl I'm saying you are so close 
We're so close to the edge. Uh, 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 don't cross the line, lady. Okay? It's not his fault. I mean... Kind of sort of. But it's not his fault. He didn't actually do anything. You know? It's not like... <laughs> this is so frustrating because i'm like it's not his fault but technically it is but there, it's not like they're dealing with like normal everyday circumstances you know like he's not just dealing with like a, a regular criminal it's a supernatural however many year old being who is jealous and is taking out his jealousy on Paya because tan didn't want him in the past life like that's what this is so technically it is because of Tan. But really, it's not his fault because it's not like. I don't even know how to justify what I'm trying to say. But you know what I'm saying, right? It's not his fault, even though it's, it is. <laughs> but they don't know that. All, they, all they're seeing is that he didn't protect his partner at work. But really, it could happen to anybody. It, it, the job that they're in, it, it, bad things can happen to any of them. It's not it's not to be placing blame on one of them when one one of the other ones get hurt. It's not it's that's not fair. They've all gone into this job knowing that they could get hurt at any time. And I understand why his grandma and his sister and even Dao are telling him to maybe not have this job. But it's a dangerous job and he knew what he was getting himself into. So for them to really just come out here and place blame on Tan when he's also placing blame on himself. It's a bit unfair to me. And I think they need to shut the hell up right now. And just leave him alone. Because he's already blaming himself enough. And it... it it's... It's not fair to blame him. Even though technically it's kind of because of him. Even though it's because of him. It's not his fault. The person who did this to... Paya is the one who should be blamed, even though nobody knows he's the bad guy because everybody wants to be blind all of a sudden. Like, pay attention. Well, I'm talking to him, Paya. I mean, Tan. shouldn't be placing blame not like any of them pushed him in the damn river <laughs> bro you need to wake the hell up ตอนนั้นเปียกปกกูก็เนี่ยลุกขึ้นมาแล้วเว้ยจริงมึงลุกขึ้นมาช่วยปกกูสืบคดีเดี๋ยวนี้นะเว้ยมึงอย่ามาน
อและตัวมึงเองมึงก็อย่ายอมแพ้ดิชีวิตคนเรามันลิขิตเองได้เว้ยมึงก็เหมือนกันในพยาธิยกไอ้ทาที่มึงดูแล้วไงมีสัญญากับกูแล้วไงกูไม่รับเลยด้วย I'm not taking him back he's yours now you keep him ถ้ามึงไม่ตื่นมันเนี่ยแต่กูจะหากันมาให้ทานแล้วนะ Not them making threats The only person I'm willing to listen to right now is Yai. Everything he just said was sense. Made so much sense. Hello. Can I have a drink? Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Gu, my friend Gu, who I've been to the police, did a case with me. มันบอกว่าพวกมือปืนบางคนจะสักสัญลักษณ์พยานตัวตนว่าตัวเองอยู่ซุ้มไหนอะไรเป็นคนของใครแล้วรอยสักแมงมุมนั้นเป็นของใครส่วนเรื่องรอยสักแมงมุมที่มึงว่าจะส่งให้มันดูมันบอกว่าเป็นน่าจะเป็นพวกซุ้มทหารเก่าแต่ก็บอกไม่ได้ว่าเป็นใครแล้วเราจะสืบเรื่องนี้ยังไงวะสายเพื่อนกูบอกมาว่าให้ลองผับร้านนี้ดูทาเวกระไมถ้าตั้งมาคนชื่อม่อนผู้จัดการร้านนี้มันเคยเป็นมือปืนมาก่อนบางทีเราอาจจะได้ข้อมูลจากมันกูว่าเรารีบไปรายงานสารวัตรดีกว่าอย่างน้อยก็จะได้ขอไปสืบที่ร้านนี้กูว่าไม่ต้องทำไมวะเรื่องนี้กูสืบเองมึงบ้าเปล่าไอ้ทานถ้าสารวัตรรู้เรื่องเนี้ยมึงตายแน่กูจะทําเรื่องนี้คนเดียวพวกมึงไม่ต้องยุ่งกูไม่อยากให้พวกมึงเดือดร้อนไอ้ทานกูปล่อยให้มึงทําอะไรสิ่งเสี่ยงแบบนี้ไม่ได้ด้วยแต่ถ้าพวกมึงรายงานเรื่องนี้กับสารวัตรสารวัตรอาจจะกันกูออกก็ได้คงคิดว่ากูเอาเรื่องส่วนตัวมาปนกับเรื่องงานแล้วถ้าเกิดอะไรขึ้นกับมึงทั้งหลวงพ่อทั้งยายมึงเอากูตายแน่กูสัญญาว่าจะดูแลตัวเองงั้นเดี๋ยวพวกกูไปเองส่วนมึงก็อยู่ดูแลพยาที่นี่แหละแฟนกูไปกูก็ต้องไปด้วยโอ้โหน่าเห็นมาเลยคุณพ่อเห็นมาเบบี้มาบอยเฟรนด์มาเลิฟเออกูไม่อยากโดนหลวงพ่อได้เอาบาดคอหัวเว้ยกูด้วยไงมันเป็นเรื่องของครอบครัวกูกูไม่อยากให้พวกมึงต้องมาสวยเพราะกูให้กูจัดการเองแต่มึงก็เหมือนน้องชายแท้ๆของกูนะเวทานพ่อแม่มึงก็เหมือนพ่อแม่กูมึงอยู่ดูแลพยาที่นี่แหละมันตื่นมาให้เจอมึงคนแรกอผ่านเฮ้ยกูให้มึงเลือกเอาว่าจะให้พวกกูไปด้วยหรือจะให้กูทวาสารวัตรท่อน sometimes really annoys me like bro accept the help you know they're willing to help you Him alone by himself going into some gangsters wherever um, to go confront however many or whatever. Uh, no, I'm going to do this on my own. I don't need your help. And they're all saying to him, listen, there's four of us. Let us go and do the hard thing. You stay here and make sure the one person you don't want to die doesn't die. You stay here and hold his hand. You stay here and do that. I'm going to do it on my own. <laughs> oh. He's so annoying sometimes. Like, so annoying. Oh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, he's going to try and get him. Mm -hmm. See, he was just waiting for the right opportunity to go and kill the man because he doesn't have his special necklace why is he here still i thought he was gonna stay and take care of paya why is he here bro todd is the most annoying <laughs> you see now maybe friggin dr prince is gonna do something and he ain't there แต่ที่เนี้ยนักการเมืองคุมอยู
Big man, why not? Y'all are so suspicious. Aren't you supposed to be police? Eyes on me! อ่าโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ย
we know he's not the bad guy who um killed his mom and dad because that's stupid because he would have been five years old just like tan or 10 or whatever how old he, he was so we know it was not him we know it's not that guy but is he in the same gang as this guy but I, is he also working with inspector ak like what's going on why is chart back all of a sudden gosh i'm so happy he was gone Mm -hmm. See? You should have been with Paya in the first place, you stupid. Go and bring him back his necklace. You know the necklace is what keeps him safe. I don't know why you didn't give it back to him in the first place. So stupid. You need to wake the hell up out of your dream realm. เจอกันจริงๆสักทีนะไอ้พญาคุดสโลทอนมึงอยู่ที่นี่ได้ยังไงมึงคิดว่ามึงฆ่ากันแล้วทางจะรับมึงงั้นเหรอแต่ถ้
เรื่องที่เกิดขึ้นเมื่อคืนผมผิดเองทุกคนไม่เกี่ยวผมจะเป็นคนรับผิดเพียงคนเดียวสลดครับผมขอร้องผมอยากให้ทุกคนอยู่ทำหน้าที่สืบเรื่องนี้ต่อไปถ้าทุกคนอยากช่วยผมก็ให้หาคำตอบว่าฆาตรกรตัวจริงคือใครผมยินดีรับโทษทางวินัยทุกอย่าง m a t e v e r you're annoying you're annoying me so much in this episode your stubbornness is really annoying I'm gonna do everything by myself. <sighs> Don't give me no amnesia today. Go tell him. Go tell him everything. Go tell him about the doctor. Go and tell him. Maybe he might start acting right. Doing a full prison break from the hospital. I mean, <laughs> it's not like they were gonna let him go. I mean, if he was like, uh, I need to go see my boyfriend. It's a gang tattoo. Anybody could tell that. Bro, don't waste time hugging him. Just tell him. Tell him everything, every single thing. Bro, spill the tea. Is this okay? He just he just he just left the hospital without being properly discharged. Is this okay? I I'm gonna assume this is okay. Is this real though? I don't trust the NC scenes in this show because I don't ever know if they're real or not. Let me not let me not get too happy. See, I knew something was up. I knew something was up. I can end the episode like that. Bro, I needed for him to say what he needed to say. <sighs> เราสองคนกําลังคบกันอยู่ครับลุงพ่ออยากให้ท่านมาอยู่ที่นี่จนกลัวสิบคนวันมหาวิทยประโยคเราต้องหาข้อมูลทุกอย่างให้ได้มากที่สุดสารวัตรรู้จักพ่อผมไหมครับสารวัตรรู้อยู่แล้วอะทําไมต้องปิดบังข้อมูลเรื่องนี้ให้พวกเราด้วยไอ้ทานตอนนี้นิ้งยอมเป็นพยานพวกเราแล้วด้วยนี่เราสงอดใช่ไหมก่อนกําลังจะไปฆ่าคุณนิ้งปกใจมันสืบเสือสมิงฆ่าตายครับเสือสมิงไม่มีจริงหรอกครับรู้ไหนว่ามันบุ้มีจริงไม่ว่าเสือสมิงฆ่าตาย Okay. 
that preview kind of confused me a lot, but whatever, that's next week's problem. This week, however, Ton really just decided to piss me off again. Uh, sometimes I'm like, why? Just why? Anyway, he's the most stubborn and annoying child sometimes. Like, it really, it, the moment I saw the necklace in that bag, I would have said to her, excuse me, can you put this back around his neck? It's a good luck charm or some bullshit. I would have made something up. You know, I would have said something like, uh, he believes in the, the holy prayers of God or whoever, whatever, Buddha, um, whatever deity he, you know, believes in. I'd be like, this is something special to him. Put it back on. It's not going to affect him in any way, right? Put it back on. Just put it back on. If they said no, I would have waited until I was able to see him, which he was pretty early on. And I would have put it back on. Why is he walking around wearing it? Even the... Even... Oh, what was it? Even in the episode... It was... Actually, it was last week's episode. When Paya woke up uh, convulsing. And he put the necklace on him himself. And he said, don't take this off. Put it back on him the moment you see it's off him. Because you know, you, Tan, know the powers that lie within that necklace. And you're the one walking around wearing it while your boyfriend's unconscious in a coma. And only his friend told him, you stay here with Paya. We'll go deal with the bad guys. I mean, they botched the operation with five of them anyways. But still, it would have been so... Like, so much easier for life if he had been there with Paya. The second he saw Paya kind of starting to be a little bit, uh, he could have given him that necklace and he would have woke up sooner. I mean, yes, I get it. For the dramatic flair and the drama itself, we needed for him to not be there. But still, it just, it just makes no sense why he would not give him back his necklace straight away. And, you know, have all of these, I'm going to do everything on my own thoughts again. And it's just, anyway, whatever. We now know for sure, 100%, who killed uh, Tan's parents. Why? We don't know that part yet, I don't think. Um, I'm going to assume it had something to do with Inspector Axe brother's death as well. I'm going to assume it was something to do with that. And I'm going to assume whatever Inspector Tam was working on is linked to it as well. Um, so, yeah. They did away. Remember? Remember when I said maybe it was Chart who killed Inspector Tam? Because he conveniently left the program. Like, what if it was him? But what if... I'm so part of me is thinking maybe the the inspector was talking to Chart on the phone, but if he's a good guy, that wouldn't make any sense. So if Chart is indeed a bad guy, then he's working with Mister Montre and you know Spider Tattoo Gang dude, right? So if that's the case, then who was the inspector talking to on the phone? Because the only person I could think of at the time that we knew from the story that wasn't like there with them was chart so there wouldn't there would be no need to hide his face if if we didn't know who he is but i don't know the fact that chart made a reappearance in this episode kind of you know very telling so he's either working with the inspector we still don't know if he's a good or a good, a good guy or a bad guy my money's leaning towards good guy at this point or Chart is working with Mr. Montre, who we know for sure is the bad guy and killed Lieutenant Tam uh, and Taran's mom and dad and almost killed him when he was a child. So, yeah. Who is Chart working with? Um, is he friend or foe? We don't know yet. Um, and, y'all, you guys, I'm telling you, something is off with Dao. The way she grabbed onto Tan, 
and was like no 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 and he pushed over he's like i need to put this necklace back on i've heard some stuff where people are like she's working with the doctor but i didn't really see how that made any sense i kind of thought maybe she was just i don't know i don't know at first i was like maybe she likes Paya, but then she was kind of looking at me a little bit like you know so maybe i thought okay she likes me and the way they were so close together in this episode as well i'm like okay yeah she definitely likes me so i don't think it's anything to do with her fancying paya i think she wants to destroy paya but i don't know i still don't know if i think she's working with the doctor like it just logically i'm not really seeing how that makes any sense and why but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she's the missing part of the story that we didn't get to see um, from the past life, you know? Because even though we know Wan Thorat's sister was around in back in those days, we didn't actually see her in the vision quest that Payal went on. She was the storyteller, but we didn't actually see her in any of the, the thing. We only saw everything from Payal's, um point of view from king garuda's point of point of view so um if dao is another past life person it would probably be someone from the naga side of things possibly i'm not sure or or can you imagine if Okay, so let's say Montserrat and uh, Prince Charlatan were supposed to be together and Montserrat fell in love with King uh, Garuda and King Garuda was supposed to also have someone. What if that's who Dao is? The person who was slighted by Montserrat and the king being together the same way dr prince was huh well the more i think about it the more that makes sense <laughs> so maybe i don't know maybe she is a garuda um um who was supposed to be with the king uh i don't know I mean, it would be interesting to see if she is, in fact, a bad person. Because, listen, I, I have been not trusting her from the moment she was like, oh, grandma, maybe he shouldn't have this job, you know? And I'm just like, but who are you to come in this man's house and tell him what to do with his life? Like, who? And the fact that she kept interrupting them when they were talking, Tan and Paya, every time they tried to get close or Paya tried to get close to Tan, it was always her or the doctor who was interrupting them, so yeah i don't see logically how it, it 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 other than what i just said maybe they're like the enemy of my enemy is my friend kind of thing that situation between them like if they are working together it's that kind of thing um but yeah every time either one of them tried to get paya and well every time paya tried to get close to tan it was either the doctor or dao kind of blocking his way so maybe they are working together maybe they're working together and they don't even realize it <laughs> um but i can't even though i do have doubts about her i kind of didn't want her to be a bad guy because knee really likes her and as annoying as knee is the you know annoying younger sister that she is she, I, I didn't i don't really want her to have anything i don't want anything bad to happen to her and i don't want her to be like sad but you guys also know that I don't trust the cat, remember? So I don't know, maybe Dao is fine, maybe the cat's fine, and I'm really just over here overthinking everything and doubting everybody. So time will tell. Time will tell if I'm crazy. Um, but yeah, as I said, this episode was it was good, but Tan really I'm I'm happy that Paya has woken up and he seems to remember everything the way he said. I wish I'd recognized you sooner. I wouldn't have let you anywhere near that man. So I'm hoping that he uses more words to let Tan understand. And I'm hoping that Tan actually listens to him 
and believes him because Tan is really quick to defend the doctor when literally all the clues have been there in front of him even from the monk the monk himself knows that doctor man is the bad guy and he even said keep the moment the doc the, the the monk said keep tan and the doctor apart you know i would have been really why okay well you told me to stay close to paya and you're telling me to keep the doctor away I would have been like, oh, suspicion. Hello. Why does the monk want me to stay away from the doctor? I would have stayed away. I would have not been, oh, but he's my friend. Go by. Tan's an idiot sometimes. Sweet, precious angel child, but stupid as hell. Um, anyway, thank you for watching episode nine with me. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Um, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye.